Okay. <clears throat> I feel like I haven't really talked much this morning, but good morning. Welcome to my vlog. Welcome to my vlog. Welcome to my channel. Oh my goodness, it's been over a week and a half since I filmed a video, so I feel oddly a little rusty if I don't film throughout the week. I feel like I can't get on and speak to a camera, but I'm really excited to be back vlogging and hanging out with you guys this week. I basically took last week off because we had some family stuff come up and I'll get into that um, in this vlog because I wanted to kind of give you guys an update on what's been going on in our personal lives and why there wasn't a vlog last week. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you kind of already know what's been going on, but I wanted to go into a little bit more detail here and then I know a few of you guys are on here but not on Instagram, so I wanted to kind of get you guys up to speed. Basically, two weeks ago, we were in our friend Mitchell and Malia's wedding. It was very last minute that Jason was in the wedding, but it ended up being really great because it was like an hour out of town, so it actually worked out really nice because since he was in the wedding and I was in the wedding, we got to like ride together, which was really nice. We're all about that carpool life, and it ended up being like a pretty hands-on wedding day, so we were like setting up the venue, so it was really nice having Jason there. So it worked out that he was in the wedding, but basically, two weeks ago, we were both in another wedding you probably saw this photo right here a lot of you guys really liked that blue dress that i was wearing it's from azazi and i can link it down below it's not an affiliate or anything it's just a bridesmaid's dress that i had but it actually was really pretty and so we were in that wedding and then the next morning was supposed to be the closet sale that i had talked about in my closet clean out videos and i actually had filmed a vlog last week i had one started where i went through my closet again <laughs> like not the closet clean out but went through it again with my friend Mary Helen and she helped me like go through everything one more time and make sure there was anything that I wanted to get rid of and we actually got rid of a lot more stuff off camera well not off camera but not part of the closet clean out part of that vlog I ended up just canceling that vlog because we actually woke up to news that Jason's grandmother had passed away the morning of the closet sale so I ended up scrapping that vlog didn't film at all that week it ended up working out that i had my closet clean out videos already filmed so i've been putting stuff live that i had kind of scheduled out but i did cancel the vlog so there was supposed to be a vlog last week didn't happen for obvious reasons but basically we woke up to the news that jason's grandmother had passed away and they live in minneapolis and jason grew up like visiting them all the time and so he's really close to them um and obviously it's super <laughs> super hard to lose a grandparent especially during covid so we ended up kind of canceling all of our plans for the week because we needed to know when to basically leave nashville and go up for a funeral so last week we were very mia i had videos that i had put live which worked out really really well but as far as like being on instagram i was barely on there we just were dealing with family and grieving and all the things that come with losing a loved one and we just really needed to be together last week and so I just took the week off vlogging but I am really 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 excited to be back here vlogging and spending the week with y'all because I feel like I whenever I don't vlog now I feel like you guys are missing so much like so much happens in a week that I want to keep you guys so updated as things happen on these vlogs and when I missed last week's vlog I just was like they don't know what's going on and so I just wanted to start this week up with a vlog I wasn't sure if I was gonna a vlog this week but we feel like we're in a good place and there's just a lot to share and I wanted to kind of loop you guys in since you are a huge part of our lives and I do feel like we're like a little YouTube friend community so I wanted to kind of catch you guys up to speed of why we were gone last week I posted on my YouTube community page if you guys don't check in on that page I actually post on there quite often about updates for people who aren't on Instagram but I was reading through all of y'all's sweet comments about spending time with family and that meant a whole lot to me and then so many of y'all were so sweet just like sending me dms while we were in minneapolis on instagram so that was really really nice and so i'm really thankful that you guys are so kind and so patient and i'm just so grateful that youtube is my job because it just meant so much to me to be able to like tell you guys that i was going to be gone for a week and have all of you be so understanding where i feel like a lot of jobs you can't really just like dip out of really quickly and it was so nice to be able to like unplug disconnect and just like be present with his family while we were with them so that was really really special as and really important being up in minneapolis was so great because i mean the weather was just perfect which reminds me today is the first day of fall 
and I'm so excited because I've got lots and lots of things that I need to share with you guys. I've got quite a few packages downstairs because we were gone for an entire week. I have a lot to go through and I thought I would go through part of it here on this vlog and then I've got some like dedicated hauls coming up but basically there's like a giant Madewell haul that they reached out to me super last minute about to share with you guys so I'm probably gonna throw those up on Instagram stories if you follow me on Instagram you've probably already seen them but there will be a dedicated haul video going live I think it'll be the next video I think the next video will be the Madewell haul because there's some really great fall and winter pieces guys I literally thrive in the fall which I feel like every single person out there says I thrive in the fall but I thrive in the fall so I'm really really excited for fall fashion and layers and coziness I'm actually wearing this is that princess Polly half zip that I got in that haul that just went live on Wednesday and then <laughs> I gotta show you guys. I have not. I told myself I wasn't gonna try on my Lululemon leggings because I wanted to wait until I did like an active wear haul, but I've decided that that haul is happening in this vlog, so we're gonna try on some active wear in a bit. But I got these Lululemon leggings in a few days before our flight to Minneapolis, and I was kind of like, I feel like those would be the perfect things to wear on the plane. And since I have put them on for traveling, I have literally just been wearing them nonstop. Like, I think I've put them on almost every single day since we even like got back from that trip. They're so cute. I'll show you what they look like on in a second. But this week is really cool. We've got Sakara being delivered. I think today it was supposed to come while we were out of town and I, I had to frantically like email everybody like don't send anything because I think Daily Harvest and Sakara are coming today so we are gonna be stocked up on some meals which is perfect because I am actually pretty behind now on work and so is Jason because we had to take basically like all of last week off. So it ended up working out perfectly that our meals are coming this week. Next week, we will be in Austin for my friend Rachel's wedding, which I guess I can touch more on in next week's vlog, but we will be in Austin. So be sure to follow me on Instagram. If you wanna keep up with our like real time traveling things. I am so excited because I just, getting out of Nashville to go to Minneapolis was just really nice. It just felt really nice to like see some new scenery. So we're really excited to be in Austin. We're gonna be there for a week and and I guess I can share more in the next vlog. I don't need to keep talking. But let me show you guys these Lululemon leggings because they are blessing me. My girlfriend collective stuff just came in as well. So I want to try that stuff on for you. I also have unboxings to do because we've been out of town and stuff has been piling up. I have to show you guys the state of our living room because it is honestly so out of hand. But anyway, let's just get this vlog moving. Okay, so these are the Lulu Lemon leggings. I got the 23 inch. They're a little bit cropped on me, but I am pretty short. So 23 inch is not a capri. It's basically just like a little bit cropped. I feel like next pair I get, I might try the 25. I'm not sure if they have a 24 like inseam, but the 23 works fine for me. These are honestly amazing. I got the green ones and they have pockets and they just like really like support every part of your body. So I am so, so excited about these. It definitely was a little bit scary to buy some pretty expensive leggings, but I will say they are amazing and I would highly, highly, highly recommend them. So I'll link these ones down below. And then of course I'm gonna try on the Girlfriend Collective stuff. I got some Free People leggings. I got Free People Movement Bra Tank. And then, oh, oh, and then I got a cute set from Lulu. So I'll do like an active wear haul in this vlog, but this is the princess polly half zip when i get dressed for the day now it's like this like it's from like my sweatpants to my lululemon leggings and it's been like this for a few days now so i really love them if you cannot tell i feel like my hair has gotten really really long i didn't notice it until last night when i was brushing my hair but it's like it's like almost time for another haircut i think let's go downstairs because i want to show you guys the state of our living room because it is quite disastrous the bedroom is relatively clean but the living room is a mess because we've got all the boxes that i need to go through so i'm going to show you guys what all i've got going on this week i can't lie guys i'm Pretty embarrassed by the state of our living room. I have got clothes that I need to take to Buffalo Exchange tomorrow, so I scheduled an appointment and we'll be taking in the leftover clothes from the closet sale tomorrow, so those will be gone. I need to take hangers back to Franklin. I need to also clean this up. I've got 
made well stuff that just came in today that I need to film. I've got some other stuff, this is from Glossier, that I need to unbox in this vlog. So this pile will be opened up in this vlog. This is the activewear that I'm also gonna open up in this vlog. And then this is my H&M stuff that I need to open up for a separate haul video. So as you guys can tell, stuff definitely <laughs> piles up after a week of being gone. Also, Riley's toys keep exploding everywhere. So I'm constantly cleaning up after her. But let's, let's unbox some stuff, shall we? All right. <laughs> I am gonna start with basically everything that is not ath not athleisure, it's not athleisure, active wear, that's what it is. And I'm basically wearing it as athleisure, but I actually did get this stuff because Jason and I have been working out a lot lately, been running a lot. He's trying to run a full marathon, which I don't know if he wants me to say out loud, but that's what he's working towards. And I'm working towards just being able to run consistently six to eight miles. So that is kind of why I decided to revamp my workout stuff. And I'm so glad that I went through my closet again because I am looking at these H&M boxes and this manual box and I'm trying to figure out how the heck I'm gonna fit this stuff into my closet so I honestly might have to just revise again. Anyway, let's just start with this first box. So this one is from Alex. I almost said Alexa. It's not Alexa. It's from Alex Mill. And this one was sent to me by a PR agency. And how that kind of works is that these agencies, they have a lot of brands that they work for. And so if a brand has a new line out or if they get a new brand that they represent, a lot of times they will contact their list of like YouTubers and influencers and they'll ask if we wanna try out any pieces. They don't ask me to post about really anything, anything I've ever gotten, I've never really had to post. I just choose to because I love sharing stuff with y'all. I know you guys really enjoy these unboxings and I really enjoy them too. So this one is one of their brands that they sent over and I'm excited because it's so cool to get to try out new brands and to share them with y'all because I feel like I get so stuck in my ways where I find and like a couple good brands that I love like Madewell and I tend to just keep buying stuff from that brand and I don't really branch out that much so like me shopping at Mango was like a big moment for me because normally I would get all my sweaters from Madewell or H&M and then I decided to try Mango and I tried Anna the Stories and so I'm really excited to try out this new brand so this is the packaging it says Alex Mill, it says wake up, get dressed, don't overthink it. And when I looked at their website, their stuff is very, very like my style. So it's a lot of really, really simple pieces, but they're really high quality. So lots of jumpsuits, kind of same vibe as Maybell. So I'm really excited. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Okay, I guess I need to try this stuff on for you guys. We're gonna have to do a try on haul. This is the first piece that I got from them and this is their one of their knits. I got this in an extra small. I'll be sure to link all this stuff down below for y'all. This is a beautiful camel colored knit. Super beautiful knit pattern. Very, very chunky. You guys know I love the buttons. And this one definitely fits oversized. So I was thinking this would be amazing as like an actual open cardigan. I know I wear a lot of cardigans as tops, but this one, I mean, you obviously could wear it as a top, but I envisioned this one as an actual like open cardigan. So I will throw this one on so you guys can see what it looks like. This one is actually so cute tucked in as a top. I probably wouldn't wear it with athletic leggings, but I am so obsessed with this. This color is amazing. The texture on it so good i love this like high neck kind of like button detail i think it's so cute just worn like this it's kind of slouchy this is the length of it out really really great length for tucking in or leaving out and then i kind of just pictured wearing it as an actual cardigan and not as a top so let me unbutton this real quick and this is what it looks like unbuttoned as just a little throw-in cardigan i think this is so cute i I'm really obsessed with this. This is gonna look so good, like actually styled and not, like I said, with my athletic leggings on, but I just love this. And the quality is incredible. So, so nice. The next piece that I got is another sweater. And this one is really cool because the buttons are actually in the back. So this is the back, it has the tag right here. And it's got these buttons in the back and then it has this amazing stripe pattern. So I thought this would be so cute with a loafer and 
I'm just noting incredible quality of these pieces already. Like th these are really, really heavy knits. Even though this box was small, it's actually like really heavy. I love this sweater so much. The stripes on it, it just feels so classy. This with the pair of blue jeans would be so cute. I love a good kind of big sleeve moment. Just again, I cannot get over the quality of these knits. They are so, so nice. And then it's got the buttons in the back, which I think you can actually reverse it and wear it with the buttons in the front. So I actually might try that out. This one is also a great length. The nice thing about this is it's a little bit tighter right here. So you can easily just fold this under and then you've got kind of like a cropped fit sweater. So the quality guys, I cannot get over these. So I just flipped it around and you can't unbutton it all the way because the tag is right here. But if you just unbutton that first one, it kind of works. Like it's kind of a reversible sweater. So I am so here for this. This is so cute. I honestly cannot wait to wear this more and just actually style this up with some really cute boots or a loafer. I feel like this would also look really great with a white sneaker and some mom jeans. So I'm just really, really happy with these. This is such a cool brand. One more piece. This one, I believe is a jacket. This is a chore jacket. Again, this beautiful camel color love this this feels definitely like my style with like some denim a nice sweater underneath very into this and I love the pocket detailing on this one so I cannot wait to try this one on as well I feel like it's showing up super bright on camera but this is a beautiful beautiful like camel color it's so so pretty so I'm really really excited about that those pieces feel like such good quality and then this is the chore jacket and it actually fits really well over the sweater even though it has big sleeves i forgot to mention but everything that i've tried on is an extra small and i just i'm obsessed with this it's like a camel kind of green though it's almost like an olivey green slash camel colored jacket but i think it looks so good with the stripe underneath it pair it with like a black skinny jean with a chelsea boot such a classic clean look and this is just a great fall jacket to throw on with like really anything. Guys, I am so here for this brand. I'm so excited to have some of their pieces now. These are so, so beautiful and so nice. Let's do, what is this? This one is from Laura Mercier. Oh, okay. This one arrived literally as we were leaving to go on our trip. And so I already opened this one because I was very, very like nosy about it, but I wanted to show you guys. So I kept it in the box because when I opened this up, I literally laughed because it's such a funny like marketing thing, but you open it up. Laura Mercier is like my literal favorite. They make the best setting powder. I love them. They always have the sweetest handwritten cards. Okay, look what they sent me. This is a giant puff. I'm literally, I'm literally weak over this. Is this not the best thing you've ever seen? It's like such a funny, you know what I mean? So this is the giant puff. This is their actual puff. They're like known for their translucent powder and then their puffs. So I just think this is hilarious. And when I first got it, I was like, what the heck am I supposed to do with this? But Jason was like, honestly, it's like a really cool, like not souvenir of your job, but I feel like there's certain things from work that like just remind you of, I don't know. Like Jason's dad worked for the NBA in Japan and he has some like really old like soda cans and other stuff from that time that he worked there. And this just feels like one of those things that you like keep around and like show your kids one day. So I'm totally, I think this is hilarious. I'm keeping it. I think it's so, so fun. But really what they did send over is one of their puffs. I have a glow powder brush and I actually already have one of these. So I might just give this away to a friend or to someone who needs it. Jason and I have been really looking into finding like some organizations where we can donate like makeup that's either lightly used or not used at all. So we're trying to like look through our church to find maybe some people that might need some stuff. This is the translucent setting powder. And then this is their translucent glow powder, which I used for the first time maybe like a month ago. I really, really like it. It has like the most beautiful, very, very subtle glow. It's not like a shimmer, but it's really nice. So love their powders, can always, always use those. They also sent over another box. So I'm slightly confused why they would send two in a span of a week, but I cannot complain because Laura Mercier is my fave. So very, very, very excited. Again, they've got just the sweetest handwritten notes. 
Ooh, this is a collaboration with Olivia Colpo. How do you say her name? She was, what was she, Miss Universe or she competed in Miss Universe? She's like a huge influencer. So it looks like she sent over her summer favorites, which is really exciting. Oh, I love their little makeup bags. So this is a red makeup bag. Laura Mercier, gosh, they really get me. So this is the Broad Spectrum SPF 30 Sunscreen Tinted Moisturizer. My favorite kind of foundations are tinted moisturizers because they're so lightweight. This is the Highlight Matte Radiance Baked Powder in number one highlight. Ooh, gorgeous. Look at that highlight. So, so pretty. What else is in here? This is the Pure Canvas Illuminating Primer. We've got a mascara. This is the Caviar Volume Mascara, which I think I have one of these. And then ugh, these are my actual favorite thing ever. These are the Caviar Shade Sticks. Are they eye stick eye colors and I got it in copper. And then this one's a matte one, I think. But these are so pigmented. Yeah, this is a matte one, this is a shimmer one. But these are so pigmented. I've used them in a couple videos before and they're just like so, so creamy. Look how pigmented that is. Really, really creamy formulas and they're just amazing to throw in your bag. You can use them as like a liner. You can smudge them out once you applied it. All really, really good products, honestly. Great favorites. So that's everything in that box. I love, I love my little Laura Mercier family. They are honestly the best. I love all of their stuff. So very, very happy. And I love this little makeup bag. This is so cute. Um, okay. This is, oh, this is actually a book from one of my friends here in Nashville. She just released her, I think it's like interior design book. So got a print. She's been working on this for forever. And I'm so, so excited that this came out. This is from Alyssa Rosenheck. And she does photography for some gorgeous houses. Like she does beautiful, I don't really want to call it like real estate photography because she's not doing it for like houses for sale, but she does interior photography and she has put together this incredible book. It actually like just, it like just released. I think today I got an email about it, but she sent it over to a bunch of people early and her photography is so gorgeous. She's been working on this for a really long time. It's called the New Southern and she just has such a beautiful eye for interiors. So this is so gorgeous. And then she has little stories on people in their houses. So I think that's beautiful. Like she tells stories in it as well as displays their homes. So I'm really excited to look through this. This is gorgeous. Oh, guys, it's even better when you take the cover off. Look at this. It's like that soft touch kind of embossed print. That is so stunning. Creating a book, that is amazing. Okay, next box is from Glossier and I, I ordered this because I gotta represent my brand. They released a limited edition version of their hoodie. You guys know I have the pink one, right? So this is a heathered cream one and I ordered it so fast. I can't even tell you guys. Like, look at this speckle. It's gray, it's so pretty. I'm gonna try it on for y'all because look how cute this is. Oh, I'm obsessed. It's the same cut as their other hoodie, but it's speckled in gray and I honestly feel like I'm gonna wear this one more than the blush one because this, can, this actually matches everything. So I'm thrilled. So this is the hoodie and it is like a unisex style hoodie so it is a little bit long but i like to kind of just tuck it up under like this and then it has this amazing speckly texture to it so it's really really cute and i'm obsessed with this one jason saw it and he was like i want one so maybe we'll get matching glossy hoodies he's a big fan of the brand as well because he knows how much i love it this is so cute i'm obsessed with this hoodie with like my lululemon leggings riley <laughs> She's not amused, she never is. But how stinking cute is this? So I'm about to go through this Madewell box. Okay, let's just take a moment. It is so, so heavy. I am gonna be posting what I got in here on my stories. So if you follow me on Instagram, you may have already seen these pieces. If you don't, the full YouTube try on haul will be up my next video on Sunday. So I wanted to go through these really quick though. I'm not gonna try them on here in this vlog because there will be a full video coming, but I thought we could just unbox and show you a little sneak peek. Also, I threw on this sweater again because I cannot get enough of this sweater. So much stuff. Let's see, we've got Perfect Vintage Jean, my 
favorite, favorite denim, which I believe is part of the Insider sale. So, so excited for another pair of these because I wear their perfect vintage jeans all the time. Got these in a 23 petite, by the way. Ooh, so cute. Okay, what? Is this not the cutest little bag you've ever seen? It's their like small transport tote, which is also a crossbody, but it's like woven. Okay, very excited for this. This is like the cutest little fall bag ever. Love that. Looks like we got some shoes. <gasps> Ooh, leather combat boots with these awesome, I think they're called grommets, I believe. These are gorgeous. Wait, so nice. The quality of these feels amazing. Okay, very into it. I've got Riley literally right here. Do you guys see her? Hey, baby. I'm sorry. She's like, I was just trying to lay there all quiet and then you came over with your giant Mabel box and ruined my life. Um, there's actually so much. There is a little plaid number, a floral moment. These are their Emmett wide leg pants in this incredible brown checkered pattern, plaid pattern, I don't know what call it. Oh my gosh, another bag. Wait, so cute, are you kidding me? Ooh, sleek, totally different vibe than that other one. So this one, so cute. Is this a top handle too? It's like a little top handle. Wait, oh my gosh, a little top handle. And you can take this strap off if you don't want the crossbody strap or you can take this one off. But I, oh my gosh, I'm so excited, what? Okay. Wow, Madewell just spoils me way too much, way more than I ever deserve. This is a black top, a, is this denim? Looks like a white denim coat or a jacket with a belt. Oh, this is their quilted coat. Yeah. Oh my gosh, what the heck? Oh my gosh, it just keeps going. This is a rust color, not rust, this is like a deep red um, fleece. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to actually film the try-on of this. This is gonna be amazing. Um, this looks like a cardigan. Last piece is another sweater. So they, I don't think they've ever sent this much over to me before. That was so sweet of them. Oh my gosh. So basically why they sent all this stuff over is because they wanted help to promote their sale. So right now is the Madewell Insider Sale. You guys know like I'm a huge Madewell fan. I've been buying Madewell for years. I've also been partnering with Madewell since maybe 2017. So I have been a loyal Madewell fan for literally years. It's half of my closet if not more, but they have a Madewell Insider Sale going on until I think the 29th or the 30th of September. So by the time this vlog goes live, the sale will still be happening. And then the reason they sent this over and why I'm doing stories right now is because there's an additional discount that is available until the 22nd, which is today, sadly. So if you follow me on Instagram, you saw that discount, but basically you can stack codes on top of the existing discount. So you can get like an extra amount off. So that's why they sent all the stuff over. And I just, you know, I love working with them all the time. And I'm so grateful that I get to share all this stuff with you guys and give you recommendations on sizing and styles. And I don't think I've ever gotten a haul like this. This is honestly insane. So I need to try this stuff on for my Instagram stories, share the sale with y'all on IG. And then, yeah, I guess I'll be filming the actual try on on Sunday. So, very, very excited. Jay Wash just got done with work. We are so hangry. <laughs> so, we're gonna eat some dinner. There's but, some. check out our new puzzle. So, this is a little life update that we've got going on here. We've got this uh, thousand piece locomotive, steam locomotive train puzzle. This is what we've got going so far. It's been here for, it's been two weeks or three weeks now? Two weeks? Two weeks, because we were out of town, but haven't made much progress. Most of the pieces are actually just white, so we're hit a standstill. But we're gonna open up our box from Saqqara because, like I said, we're, we're very, very hungry. Ooh. Wait, this one has detox water drops. This one comes with a bunch of stuff. I did a full like Saqqara vlog. I'll link it down below. So I'm not gonna go into a lot of detail about this meal subscription service, but they reached back out and said they wanted to send me a box of food. And I was like, heck yeah. So floss, natural deodorant, CBD oil. Ooh, this is like a, a toothpaste, but it's citrus clean. So I don't know how citrus toothpaste 
will go. This is the reprogram box, I think. So I think every I think every month they release like a new program. So you're not only just getting food. The last one that I did, I got a lot of like vitamin supplements and probiotics. And this one, you're getting like the the stuff that I just showed you guys. So this sounds good. This is a risotto. The other granola again. Plant protein. With me. You liked the granola. I did. Because the almond milk is like coconut based. Yeah, it is. It's like coconut milk. But I actually, it kind of grew on me, honestly. Well, here's our bounty. Okay, we've got Equinox salad with stone fruit. Yum. This is a classic chopped salad. Honestly, this one actually just sounds really good to me. Just a nice salad. Risotto. This is gonna be a good dinner one. This is the rainbow veggie mushu wrap. Ooh, got a wild mushroom pasta. And then one of the muffins. Okay, classic divider. So we've got tortillas, lettuce, and then the stuff on the inside. Ooh, this mushroom? I don't know, but it smells really good. You wouldn't like it because you don't like mushroom, but uh. Well, I'm glad I didn't choose it then. Well, tortillas. Leave me a comment down below if you watched my, my actual Saqqara vlog. Just destroyed this. It's so fast. I was so hungry. We really do like Saqqara though. Even though it is very, very pricey, it is super nice because there's literally no meal prep. It is just all straight out the bowl. Straight out the box. Good morning. It's the next day. j Watts and I got up at 7 this morning. We went for a nice walk. And now we're gonna make breakfast. So we've got our potatoes out, our nice new pans. j Watts is currently in the middle of... Are you texting our person? Mm. He's emailing our mortgage lender guy. We ended up getting on a call with just a lender to just get an idea, a little temperature check of what we could afford if we did want to buy next spring. We're still trying to decide if we want to buy next spring or the next next spring, but it's pretty exciting. We got on a call with him, just talked about where we're at with our finances, where we're at with our savings, and it's looking pretty like positive that we could get a house if we wanted to next year but we're just trying to decide if we want to like keep saving for that down payment but anyway that's an update we're gonna start breakfast do you want to tell them about the documentary that we watched last night Oh, <laughs> it's a daisy. Uh, it's called The Social Dilemma, and it's on Netflix. Go up here. And it's about a lot of things, but mostly about the social landscape of the world because of various algorithms. And basically it's just saying that things like Facebook and YouTube and whatever are, I don't want to say they're not ethical, but they're not, the algorithms aren't necessarily designed with humans in mind, they're designed with profits in mind, right? Yeah, so basically this, well, I'll link it down below, but basically this you whole documentary about is about how like these things like social media, like Instagram and YouTube and Facebook and all of these things that we spend a lot of time on are literally designed to keep our attention and that we're not the consumer, we're the product. They're selling our attention to advertisers and to basically like Jason said, make a profit. It's really interesting because you realize that like all of these, I don't know, all these platforms that we feel like that we're in control of are actually like designed to control us. It's super weird. Like it's definitely one of those things that you watch and you're like, oh gosh, like where are we headed as a society? But it's really, really good. And I'll link it down below. A lot of y'all on Instagram actually said that you've seen it already, but it just like opened our mind to the whole world of like, maybe like Instagram isn't designed like with our best intention in mind, but it's actually designed to keep our attention and to also like get us to buy things and all these things. So it's really? interesting. What do you think, Riley? Riley's like, I've never been addicted to Instagram. <laughs> She's never on her phone. So we slept with our phones not in the bedroom last night as a test to see if that would like impact our mood. And it honestly was really good not having the phone be the first thing that we look at when we wake up. Positive steps here. Yeah, I think it's really interesting that like they interviewed all these like really influential people in the tech space, like the guy who invented the like button and like the founder of Pinterest. And, and the guy who invented the infinite scroll. Like and all, it's all, these, all people. these people. And they all don't let their kids have technology. Yeah. They all like don't engage with it in the way because they know that it's bad. Yeah, so basically the whole documentary is interviewing all these people who are high up in creating the algorithm, creating the like button, if scroll. And they're basically asking them like, what do you think about this 
thing that you've created and they all say that like it was created well not all of it but the, the like button was created with the intention of bringing joy to the world like oh you like something but it's saying that like AI and these technologies have like basically like taken on a new form that like humans can't really like I don't know not control but like it's taking into a new form that's past like what they had designed originally so it's very interesting but you guys should watch it if you are ever like questioning the intentions of social media it's very very fascinating definitely worth the watch it opened our eyes yeah. to just be more conscious of like what we're doing on the internet and knowing that like these things are like kind of actively working against us and against yeah. our intentions of like living a present life they're trying to work so that we are living our lives on screen. Very interesting. Well, and I think too, it's important to be like, if you're addicted to your phone, like that's by design. It's not an accident that you're addicted to your phone. Like those companies, it's in their best interest for you to be addicted to your phone, you know? So like, you don't have to be like hard on yourself, but we're all in that. And it's just an yeah. interesting way of going. It. Yeah, it's being conscious of like this, this like pressure that we're basically always working against. Cause there's always going to be this like technology force that's basically keeping us on our phones and to be more conscious of like how actively we need to be fighting against the urge of being addicted. So it's very, yeah, it's very interesting. It like literally talks about how like social media and technologies have become like drugs and like have actually become like addictive things in our lives. Anyway, check it out. I'll link it down below. Buffalo Exchange to sell. I've got on this Madewell sweater. These are the Madewell Perfect Vintage Jean that I got yesterday. My Docs. I am finally back in my Doc Martens. These are the other combat boots that I got, but these are the Docs, so a little bit different. And then I've got the little woven Madewell bag on, but I'm gonna go thrifting after I go to Buffalo Exchange. So I'm gonna be filming a thrift challenge today. And then I gotta get back because we're doing date night. Also, I almost forgot to mention, I'm wearing some new Like You earrings. These ones just launched on the site and I've been wrapping them secretly for a little while now, but tying the look together. I just got back home. Jaywaz is munching on a Sakara. <laughs> I'm about to. He grabbed the granola out. Milk. We also just got in, this is hilarious. We just got in our daily harvest box. This is the first time I've ever tried daily harvest and they didn't even ask me to post about it at all. They were like, we just want to send you this food to try out and if you like it post about it so figured i would include it in the vlog since we're testing out well we're not testing out we've done sakara before and we really like sakara daily harvest is a little bit more affordable than sakara because sakara is like locally made and prepared so that all you have to do is pop it out of the bowl and eat it so daily harvest i believe is some of it's frozen I'm gonna open it up. Our table is no longer in use because of our dang puzzle. I know what you guys are gonna say, get the puzzle mat, get the puzzle mat. And we've thought about it, but we kind of like the puzzle out on the table at all times because then if you're walking by it, you just fit a couple pieces in or if we're like eating breakfast, sometimes we'll find a piece. He's making coffee, sometimes we'll find a piece. So we just like the option to always be able to work on it versus like rolling it out. I feel like if we had to roll this puzzle out every time, We'd never actually work on it. JWAS made me a coffee. Cheers, a little midday coffee. Is that my matcha? I had matcha yesterday though. So I really don't know that much about Daily Harvest other than the fact that Mikkel has also gotten something from Daily Harvest and she's worked with Sakara. I feel like we literally are the same person sometimes. I just found out she was just in Austin this past week and we're going to Austin in like seven days. So we're basically just like following each other and doing the same thing that the other person's doing. Babe, you want to see the Daily Harvest box? Yeah, I have it. Sign me up. He just reaps the benefits of our meal subscriptions. How's the granola? I haven't tried it oh. yet. All right. Oh my gosh, this is a lot of food. Oh my gosh. So, so this stuff you don't make, it's already done. No, so it's- Wait, cinnamon banana oat bowl? Okay. This. Wait, there's two of them? Yeah, they sent enough for you too. Okay, so this is for, these are for the flatbreads. So there's like, Sweet tomato, chickpea, kale. We got dry ice, which means we can do fun things with dry ice. Okay, what the heck? There is banana oat, butternut squash, cinnamon, 
Did you see this one? Banana oats, butternut squash. Yes, that's the... Oat bowl. So I guess all this stays frozen, and then as we want to eat it, we can pop it yep. into like the microwave, I think. Which is great, because we could actually take some of this to Austin and just like have food if we wanted. I don't know. We'll probably eat in Austin now. Okay, so these are their smoothie bowls, and I've seen those Daily Harvest ads where they like put this bowl of frozen fruit into like the blender, and then they put it back into the cup, and somehow there's more, like it's overflowing the cup. Seems unlikely. Seems unlikely, <laughs> but I guess if you do add liquid to it, like an almond milk, I say this one it might add actually. A cup of water. Yeah, so you add water or you add milk to them. Wow, these actually look so good. This is a carrot, coconut, tomato, bell pepper uh, soup. Ooh, wait, what the heck? Another banana oat bowl, chai coconut smoothie. Wait, these actually look so good. Are you excited? I am excited. Sweet potato, bell pepper, kale, coconut, tamari, lemongrass. Oh, I said two of everything. Oh, this is ice cream. Wait, ice cream? <gasps> Dark melty cacao chips with mint. Mint chocolate chips, my favorite. Wait, let me get my it's my shot. favorite food ever. Wait, what kind is that ice cream? Same? Ooey gooey midnight fudge. Ooey gooey midnight fudge and mint chocolate water. chip. Wait, can I try this? This one is coconut, maple, cacao, avocado, pine, pollen, and vanilla. Ooh, that sounds good. This is let's sit for 10 minutes before digging in perfectly creamy stuff. Okay, I'm gonna let this sit and then we're gonna do a first impressions taste test. This is a coconut, maple, dark chocolate, spirulina, peppermint, and vanilla and it is organic. Let's sit for 10 minutes. So I gotta let this sit for 10 minutes and then we are gonna dig in and try this out. I'm so excited. I know, I'm getting spoiled. Coffee from Jaywaz, Barista Jaywaz, and an ice cream from Daily Harvest. Wow. Dry ice reminds me of the, not the science fair, the, there's a, what's it called? There's like a science museum in Nashville that they would do like little dry ice experiments with the kids from school. And I'm making my fog. Babe, come look. Oh. You love to see it. I just read the um, safety equipment that you're supposed to use when handling dry ice, which you probably are, but it says heavy gloves, makes sense. Safety shoes, makes sense. Safety glasses, makes sense. Hard hat. <laughs> Who uses a hard hat while handling dry ice? Guys, look how spooky it is. Woohoo! Okay, it's been 10 minutes. I'm not positive that it's been 10 minutes, but I don't want to wait any longer. So let's try out this ice cream. It's green. Ooh. Oh my gosh. Okay, it's coconutty, don't get me wrong, but it's actually really good. This is amazing. Love this dang chocolate chips in it. Heck yeah. We are stocked up. Look at this freezer. Also got a bunch of sausage. <laughs> but down here, all of our soups and our bowls and our flatbreads, our ice cream. This is actually so good. I'm not trying to ruin my appetite though, so I'm gonna stick to my popcorn <laughs> for this afternoon. But I am definitely breaking the ice cream out tonight. Jawaz and I, like I said, are gonna do date night. So he's finishing up some work right now. And then I'm going to, I guess, show you guys the activewear I got. I forgot to do that yesterday. It got away from me. Okay, I ended up sitting on the couch for a little bit because I was eating my popcorn and I didn't really feel like slipping into activewear, but I'm gonna show you guys what I got because I need to just open this stuff up and show you guys so I can actually start using it because I haven't because I was like, well, I wanna like do a first impressions. So I haven't been using it to actually run and I've been running in my old stuff. So we're gonna actually open it up. Okay, first thing is from free people movement. And I posted about all this stuff on my Instagram when I placed the order because I was worried stuff was gonna sell out. And I know that you guys really like to jump on stuff when I post about it. And sometimes by the time I get around to filming a YouTube haul and then edit it and get it up, stuff is sold out. So if you follow me on Instagram, you've seen this stuff. You've just seen like screenshots of the photos online. So I'm gonna try it on for you guys though so you can see what it looks like on me. This is a little bra tank. I have this one in olive green. I got that in my Lulu's haul and I went on the Free People website and they have 16 colors of this bra tank and I'm obsessed with this tank. This is basically like a sports bra and I like to wear this just with my high-waisted leggings. It is for me more comfortable to run with just this and then some leggings and then I do have like a workout 
pullover that I can throw on as it gets colder because I think at this point, honestly, I don't know if I could run in this without a jacket. So here we are. Okay, so I threw on the Lululemon leggings so I can show you this sports bra, but I'm obsessed with these leggings. If you cannot tell, this is the Free People tank bra. I love this color. It's a little, a little Christmassy, but honestly, I, I don't really mind. I think it's so cute. And it's like this beautiful, like burnt rusty red. Love the way that this looks. And I actually really like running in these. I have it, like I said, in olive green and they're just great to work out in. Next, I got some stuff from Lulu's. So first piece is a Free People legging. These are the You're a Peach legging and I can link these on Lulu's and on Free People. If I link them on Free People, I think they have all the sizes available. Lulu's sizing is a little bit limited right now because these are Free People leggings, but they're at Lulu's. Anyway, I'll link them down below. These are, I got these gray ones. So these ones feel a little bit different than the Lulu lemon ones that I have. They're not like a cotton, but they don't feel as slick as the Lulu lemon ones because the other ones are definitely for running. I think these might be for running as well. Really excited to see how they fit. I already know that I just love the Lululemon ones. I literally can't stop talking about them, but I'm really excited to try these out. I wanted to try a few different brands just to get an idea of what are my favorites. So far, I'm really happy with the Lululemon one, so I can definitely see myself purchasing more from there, but I wanted to buy some other stuff just to get a gauge of other brands, and I had a gift card to Lulu's anyway, so this worked out great. So these are the Free People leggings, and I can't remember if they're cropped, but they're definitely full length on me. I'm five foot two. These ones are, I feel like a little bit more of like a softer fabric than the like slicker Lululemon leggings, but really, really cute. I love the gray. It has a little zipper in the back to put a key. And then it has this little kind of like cinch at the bottom. So really cute. And I think the gray is beautiful. The next thing that I got from Lulu's is a set. So this is the top, little sports bra top. I got this in extra small olive green. This one has padding in it. The Free People one doesn't have padding, but I just run anyway with it. And then this one has a matching legging and these ones feel super slick like the Lululemon ones. These ones feel like a little bit more soft, kind of like a yoga pant. I can still run in these, like you can run in whatever, but these ones are definitely more slick and so are the Lululemon ones. So I will throw this set on. Okay, this is the Lulu set. And honestly, guys, I am so impressed by these leggings. These are super high rise, but they're actually really fitted around the waist. So they are like zero gap with these, which I feel like are gonna be great for running because they're not gonna fall down. I am actually really, really impressed by these leggings. They also come in white, which I thought was really cute, but I'm loving this green. And then this is the matching top and I love the square neckline. This is such a cute top. It also has these super thick straps. I feel very supported in this top. It's got padding. I am really, really impressed with this Lulu set. I honestly was not expecting a lot just because I think it was cheaper than the Free People and the Girlfriend Collective, but I actually really love this. This is so stinking cute, so flattering, and I really cannot get over how tight these are around the waist. I feel like a lot of times with high-waisted leggings, you can get like them to fit really well in the hips and the butt, but then you get to the waist and they're a little bit like gaping, but these ones actually hug you all the way around perfectly. I am so happy I got these. I love it. And then the last one, which I waited for the longest is from Girlfriend Collective. I had asked you guys a while ago on my Instagram, which athletic brand you wanted me to try out and review. And I had equal parts Girlfriend Collective and equal parts Lululemon. And so that's why I decided to order from multiple different stores. And I had a few of you guys saying free people movement as well, but most of you guys said girlfriend collective. And so I decided to place an order with girlfriend collective and I ended up waiting a pretty long while for my package to get here, but I'm hoping that it is worth it. This is what it comes in this little cardboard bag. And the packaging of Girlfriend Collective is actually super cute. It comes in this little bag and then it has embroidered, it says Girlfriend Collective. And I am so excited because I have been waiting for these for forever and I'm pumped. Okay, so I ordered a sports bra, their classic sports bra, and then a black trail short. So I got two black pieces because I wanted stuff that could last a really long time. The branding is obviously so, so cute. I believe these pieces 
are made of water bottles, I think. They're sustainable. But basically these are a high-waisted short and I think they have, they do have a shorts lining. These are gonna be great for running. I think these were like 50 something. I'll link these down below. And then I got the sports bra, which I will also link down below. And this one is just a black sports bra. So those are the pieces I got from Girlfriend Collective. And I'm really excited because I've been needing some shorts. And these ones are great because they have that like spandexy kind of lining on the inside. And I got black because a lot of these sports bras that I got are like different colors and I wanted them to all kind of mix and match. So I was definitely keeping in mind the fact that I would probably wear a bunch of different color sports bras with these. So not super exciting with the colors with Girlfriend Collective. A lot of the colors that I really wanted were actually sold out. I wanted to get a pair of leggings from Girlfriend Collective, but they were like completely sold out in all of the colors that I wanted. So we got shorts and then I got leggings at Lululemon. But I'm gonna try this on and show you guys what it looks like. Okay, this is the Girlfriend Collective stuff and this is what I'm talking about. So these fit great everywhere else, but there is a little bit of room here, which is fine because there is that lining on the inside. I don't think they're gonna fall as I run. And you can see there's like a short built in, but I do wish it was like actually fitted because there is like a big kind of gape back here. The sports bra though, I really, really like. This one is a beautiful sports bra. It's really thick, so you're not getting any sort of lines. It doesn't have padding, but the material itself is actually double layered. So you do feel very supported, very protected. And then it's got a racer back design. I love sports bras that go over your ribs. I think they just hit in a really nice place. I really, really, really wish these shorts fit me perfectly because they were, I think like $60. There's just a lot of extra fabric back here which I guess is good that they're not super tight like they're probably gonna be really comfortable to run in and I'm gonna keep them just because it took so long for them to get here but I will say like I don't know if I would call these like my favorite shorts because I do think one they could be actually fitted around the waist because I got the smallest size and then I also just wish they were like I don't know a little bit more high-waisted kind of like those blue leggings I don't hate them I want to actually work out in these give you guys a full review of how they like wear but from what I'm noticing they are a little bit big like they're not even touching my back right here I can put like my whole fist back there there's just a lot of extra fabric so Super, super comfortable though. I like that they're not like tight because I feel like tight shorts would be really uncomfortable, but I don't know. I think they're cute. I do like the, the lining on the inside and this little flap. I think they have really good potential. Maybe I need to see if they have an extra, extra small, but typically I am an extra small, so I thought they would fit true to size, but honestly, I feel like you could size down in these. We are back home from our Chick-fil-A date night, back with Miss Riley, snuggled up on the couch, eating our daily harvest ice cream. <laughs> we just got back from looking at houses. <laughs> We decided we would spend our date night looking at houses and looking at areas that we might want to live in. We found this really cool place. And now we are just trying to be really patient because we just found this. Found our dream neighborhood. We found a neighborhood that we really, really like. And now we wait. It's so weird thinking we could buy in six months, but we could also buy in 18 months because those are two very different dates. Yeah. So we're just kind of, we've been talking about what we want to do, but we'll keep you guys updated as we figure stuff out. I'm gonna end the vlog here though. I hope you guys enjoyed joining me this week in JWAS. If you like these types of videos, give it a big thumbs up and leave me a comment down below. Give Riley some love down in the comment and we will see you guys in my next one. Bye! Mm -hmm.